Hey fellow Vault winners, it's Angry Turtle and I want to let you know that Double Experience Weekend just started. Therefore here I want to see if it was worth saving all those buffs for Double Experience Weekend and I will do a quick run and we'll see how much experience I will get and what time it will take and this will be in the title. And as well YouTube just let me know that over 60% of people watching my videos is not subscribed to my channel. Therefore, I have just a quick question to you. Is there anything I can do to make my channel worth your subscription? Please let me know. And now, how we can know how much experience I actually earned? Thanks to the weekly repeatable challenge, as this will be popping up on the screen. And after I will finish my run, I will just add it up. We know that I have 400. 33 out of 10,000 and we'll see how many times it will reset and what will be the final experience score. Therefore, without further ado, my buffs are almost all running, just a bare mentals for a refresh and here we go. I have all my buffs running, let's see what I can get. Super mutants are waiting for me and here we go. Go super mutants, give me all this experience. Look at that! Already over 10,000? Wow, it's going fast. Oops. Bats, don't fail me. He's just in my face. I cannot be missing. Ah, oh, zero AP. No problem. No AP, no problem. Wow, the score is going up. We're killing those super mutants. Let's go inside. Okay, faster. Load me faster. The clock is ticking. Okay, we are in. Let's see how much more experience I can get. But it feels good to have so much experience. Did you notice how much experience I'm getting per super mutant kill? Like this level 75, 3200 level 75 super mutant. Wow. Wow. That's, that's something. Like for me, it was worth. Uh, uh, I can tell you why for me it's worth to save those buffs. Not only because, yeah, some of you said that I could spend this time and just farm experience before double experience weekend instead of saving for all those buffs. But the problem is that it's more fun to do different things in the game for me. I don't want to be doing always the same thing. Therefore, if I can farm multiple different buffs and then use them to get maximum effect later, that's much more fun than if, let's say, I would just run around and kill super mutants for two weeks straight. I much more prefer go and kill a lot of super mutants and other creatures during double experience weekend and do other stuff before it. That, but that's just my personal preference. If you prefer to just shoot stuff all the time, that's of course fine. Oh, I just level up again. And I'm not a low level here, if you noticed. I started 177, I'm 179 now. Look at that. I don't know how much experience I already earned, but I will count it after the fact and I will put it into the title, then we will know. Okay, level 100. Level 100 Super Mutant is cap. As you don't know, 4000 experience per kill, it's the cap. You cannot get more, therefore level 100 Super Mutant is giving me maximum experience I can get per kill. I cannot go any higher than that. Oh, Dogo. Hey Dogo. And yes, I'm using Vampire Weapon to save time. I don't need to pay attention to those Super Mutants shooting at me. Okay, couple more. Level 180 already. And yeah, you will let me know, is it worth to save those buff and maximize experience gain? What's the difference between my experience and your experience, uh, let's say, if you don't care about buffs and prefer to just run and kill everything? Let me know what's the difference. Is it worth it? Come on, terminal. Don't slow me down here. We need to open this last section. 
Hello. <laughs> 4,000. Like 4,000 experience of Super Mutant that feels so good. Like, I cannot stress this enough how good it feels to get 100 experience per single kill. And that's not a sentry bot. Like, for me, it's not even worth now to go after a sentry bot. A sentry bot will be 4,000 experience as well. As I can have 4,000 experience per super mutant if he's level 100. Where are you hiding? And Berimentals are very helpful here. This purple glow, apart from more intelligence, is helping me so much to locate those super mutants way faster. Kevin, how many left? Oh, that's level 100, another level 100, another 4,000 experience. Oh, that will be actually probably hard to count all this experience. I wasn't expecting to earn as much. I was, to be honest, expecting to cap at around 3k experience per level 100 super mutant, but it, <laughs> we went much higher. Okay, this section, another level up. Wow, did you notice I already earned five level ups? Five level ups from level 177, <laughs> 182. Okay, couple more here and West Tech will be cleared. And we need to have West Tech cleared. It's, this is uh, my target for this video. One full clear on the West Tech, time it out and add all experience together for a title. And I already know that will be a lot. This will be a lot. Okay, where are you? Yeah, Super Mutant, don't have time. Clock is ticking. Clock is ticking. Oh, that's a legendary level 100 doggo. Uh, let's take it. Normally I'm not looting here because I'm on timer, but doggo will loot it. Ah, that the reload, but that's level 100. That's another 4K. That's another 4K, another score progress. All right. Okay, doggo, the last one. Done. Timer stop. Did I stop the timer? I hope so. Alright. This is done. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing result. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what you think, guys. Is it worth it? Oh, by the way, my stats. Uh, That's all the buffs I was talking about. They all running. As you can see in here. All the possible bug. All the possible buffs. That's a herbivore. The intelligence is 74, and yes, this character is built purely for farming and grinding experience. I need to have one like that. Otherwise, I will not be able to do that, <laughs> and that is fun for me. Some of you said that it's not fun, but yeah, it's fun for me. <laughs> I'm not doing it all the time, by the way. It will not be fun. I do agree it will not be fun if I will do it all the time and nothing else in the game, but for me, it's fun. And that will be it for this video. Enjoy your double experience weekend and please share your experience with me. And now as always, thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next one.